Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for September 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All right, and because it is general, the roles can be reversed. So always keep that in mind. Let's see, what is going on with Libra? For the first half of September, what is the overall energy? And we have understanding. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Um, definitely there is something that you or your other person is beginning to understand um, concerning this connection or understanding each other when it comes to communicating. All right. So maybe understanding has been an issue. For you recently, maybe there has been some conflict or maybe there's just been some, some denial in the connection. Let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of September. All right, so for your situation, we have the Nine of Wands crossed by the Six of Wands. So something here, yeah, definitely in the connection, I feel like there has been a lot of challenges. It feels like it's just been dragging out for so long and that maybe, you know, the, that there's no finish line, like there's just no getting to the finish line. Um, that's how this is coming through. It could be also that there has been ego that's been involved either on your end or on the other person's end. But mostly what I'm getting is that it feels like you, the two of you were kind of moving in a certain direction, trying to get to a certain place, trying to get to a certain agreement or to a um, specific outcome that feels like it just cannot be successful. Like it, it feels like there's no winning. So let's see the recent past. We have the Seven of Cups near future. We have the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, sorry. All right, so yeah, there was possibly a lot of confusion in the past, not really knowing what was going on, or maybe there was, um, maybe you were considering some options, or maybe the two of you were trying to find solutions, trying to think of um, alternative ways to go about this connection. But again, it feels like, you know, there, it just feels like there is no, no winning, like there cannot be a win-win outcome at the moment. That's what it's feeling like. It doesn't mean that that is the case. Um, I do see something coming up here in the in the near future. We'll see more when we clarify for that. For your energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. For them, we have the Hanging Man. For you, the Ace of Swords. For them, the Three of Cups. And potential outcome is the world. All right. Libra. You're working on yourself. You're really, I feel like you're really working on your own um, sense of self-worth and really trying to find your, your grounding and possibly even trying to make your material world or environment comfortable at the moment. And I feel like you're really trying to feel secure within your own self. For some of you, this could be like a new path that you are on here with the Ace of Swords. For them, I feel like they are kind of in the same situation as you may have felt that they were before. But there's something here about them wearing a mask. We'll see, we'll see when we clarify, but something is definitely ending here when it comes to a cycle. All right, in this connection. So let's see what this is about. So let's clarify that nine of wands with the six of wands. All right, the six of cups, the six of swords, and the knight of cups. All right, what is going on here, Libra? All 
I feel like you're trying to walk away from the past here. Um, you're trying to leave something in the past, but something that... It's almost coming in like wanting to move away from from a situation from your past even if it did feel like there is a very strong connection even if it does feel like you just have a lot of fond memories or just something really sweet um, in this you're trying to walk away from that in order for something new to come into your life or because you want you just want to have love you want the person that you are with to be able to um, come after you to chase you to be able to approach you in a loving way possibly that's where the understanding comes in and so I feel like you're trying to leave something in the past here and that and that's because you feel like there is no um, there is no other outcome is the way that it's feeling for you let's see let's see the queen of pentacles for some of you this could even represent children by the way all right it's not going to be for all of you but um could be for some of you all right so clarifying the queen of pentacles we have the ace of pentacles the five of swords and the Seven of Swords. All right, okay. So you are tr you're, you're trying here to nurture yourself. You're trying to take care of yourself. You're trying to possibly even figure out the, the um, a little bit of your, your stability, but mostly when it comes to your emotions. Again, I feel like you are taking a new path here. You're trying out something new and I feel like there's a reminder here to make sure that as you as you try new things or as you try to go on a new path, don't neglect the parts of yourself that feel pain. Don't neglect the parts of yourself that might feel like there has been some betrayal or don't neglect to see where for some of you it could be that you are deceiving your, your own self. Hmm. Uh, it's like I'm wondering if there's something here that you may that you might have been missing in the past like when I say missing I mean like when it comes to understanding like there like a piece of the puzzle was missing let me see this ace of swords because I do see you figuring things out in some way or trying to take some action, trying to figure out some kind of truth here. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so there's definitely something here in your past that is that you're trying to move away from. Um, because, you, like I said, you want love, right? You want there to be compassion. You want there to be understanding. And I feel like there's a connection here where, where you feel like that is missing. I also feel like there might be another connection for some of you, or maybe it's within the same connection, where there is um, a missing piece or in what it was that you were able to understand, either about yourself or about the other person. Again, the roles can be reversed. You are in the process of figuring out that truth, whatever that is. I feel like for some of you, actually, this is you trying to move away from a person that you actually do would want to still try to work things out with. Um, and it could be some ego getting in the way. Again, roles can be reversed. This might not be you. This might be your person. But I feel like you possibly focusing so much on the 
on yourself or on your surroundings or even your, your environment or this new path that you're on, you might be neglecting the part of you um, that's really wanting love. Or the part of you that is feeling um, betrayed. And that's what I'm getting here, but I do see you figuring that out. So just take that as, as a reminder or as encouragement. Let's see what's going on with them, because that was kind of complicated, what's going on with you. Let's see for them. Let's see a hanging man. Okay, so we have Justice. The Two of Wands, we've got quite a bit. The Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. All right, what is going on here? Libra, this connection. <laughs> it's a lot. This person is dealing with some kind of a pain, some kind of an ending that is bringing them, it's causing them a lot of conflict. Um, I feel like they are kind of like in this uh, dilemma. There's a decision here that they need to make. I feel like this decision has to do with coming forward towards you in a way. Um, for some of them, ego could be getting involved, um, or or there's some external interference from other people, which is um, affecting them or affecting their ability to to make a decision on their own. And whatever that is, it's creating a lot of pain for them. Let me see this Three of Cups. See if I can make sense out of this. All right, the Eight of Cups, Lovers, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so definitely could be a third party situation. Um, for some of you here, I'm kind of strongly getting that now, all right? On the side of the other person meaning that this person that you're dealing with is in a situation where there are other people involved and that has to do with the um with what is keeping you from reaching that end goal okay for some of you um it it doesn't have to be like a romantic partner it could be relatives it could be friends it could be peers it could be co-workers whatever Whatever, um, I feel like there has been some kind of an interference in that way and everybody is responsible for their own decisions, right? Like if somebody wants to be with you, well then it doesn't really matter what happens with other people. But sometimes it can be a little more complicated and a little more difficult than just that. Obviously if it's just other people's opinions, well, you know, I don't think you would want to be with somebody who is so easily influenced by other people's opinions if it's, you know, not something really um, deep and serious, like culture, um, religion, even then, even then, but it does make it a lot more difficult if it's something like that or if it's something like marriage um, and family, obviously. I feel like this person is wearing a mask, all right, regardless. I see them being in this um, process of removing that mask leaving that behind because I feel like whatever life that they have been living has been like a um, like a facade almost even to their own self you know like trying to have convinced themselves or trying to convince themselves that you know yeah this is where I'm happy but three of cups twice they're walking away from this Uh, definitely moving in the direction of having to make that decision like once and for all here and I do see them moving away from whichever connection it was that is superficial and it does create a lot of pain that's why we have the ten of swords it creates a lot of pain for them the fact that they're even in there it creates pain to walk away from that it creates pain to be in it as well let's 
Let's see the Page of Pentacles for what is coming up. Ooh, the world, the Nine of Wands again, and the King of Cups. Okay, so this is a step in the direction of ending a cycle. All right, not an easy one. And it's definitely a cycle that has been dragging out for a long time where it felt like there was no winning. Okay, so see now it's, it's all coming together. I feel like this person is really beginning to trust their own emotions and what it is that they truly feel rather than, you know, what, rather than worrying about what other people think of them. the world because that is all about this ending i love that we have the world both in the um, potential outcome as well as clarifying the near future okay because this is showing that that's the, the step taking that step towards towards the conclusion and then we have the conclusion up here all right so we have the knight of wands the five of pentacles and the ace of swords which this Ace of Swords is also matching up to your Ace of Swords here. Okay, so there is a completion here. There's action being taken with that Knight of Wands. And again, it, Five of Pentacles, it does come with a loss. I was just talking about this um, in Gemini's reading that sometimes, you know, in order to gain, to gain something, we might have to give up something else. <clears throat> which is totally okay and I do see that that's where this is heading but also what I'm getting here is that this is a closing out of a cycle where somebody has been a lot of um, has been very inconsistent and constantly keeping themselves victim there's a new path here there's a new beginning there's an understanding that ace of swords there's an understanding of that of how somebody was keeping themselves victim to a situation by not being consistent, not being stable or just not taking um, more grounded <clears throat> steps. And I, that's what I see coming up here also with the Page of um, Pentacles. Wanting to stick to a, to a particular path rather than being in and out or back and forth. So, I'm mostly getting that that is for your person. Could be for you as well. Roles can be reversed again. All right, let's see. Final oracle message, if this resonated. All right, and we have the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I feel like that powerful change is coming with um, deeper understanding on both ends here, understanding each other, also understanding each other's perspectives, and especially for this person to understand that um, they've been, you know, possibly keeping themselves victim to other people's expectations, to what things look like on the outside rather than following their own their own emotions all right and for you i feel like it's just really facing your true self here all right not neglecting yourself that's what's in it for you that was your lesson here so um libra that was it i hope it made sense and much love